Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. So, uh, one of the things we should do is actually... Huh. Wait a minute. I mean, I just wanted to be more offensive and hit with, you know, multiple whatevers. Yeah, that was the thing. But I should check, I mean, would it be more... 202 is our attack with that. Well, that's 175, but we get two hits with it. And then if we... Wait, what if we do offensive here? Oh, that, that actually kind of... Well... I think that's our better bet. For three, but that'll give us like three really good hits. And I don't know why I did that, because I want to equip the steel broadsword, because I think it's like steel sword. Like, that's the one that sounds like you should pilfer it. So you think the an you think that's the answer, do you? Let's see. That's it! You've exercised you've exercised the answer, traveler. You worked it out. The single handed sword that sounds like you should pilfer it is a steel broadsword. Get it? Steel broadsword? Steel broadsword? Hee hee hee! Not bad, not bad, but the game's not over yet. I've got another perplexing problem for you. This one's like a short tempered cactaball. It's particularly prickly. Alright, here we go. Riddle me this. What sort of weapon sounds like it's made to frustrate something that's flagging? If you think you know the answer, equip it and come and show me. Frustrate something that's flagging. Hmm. What sort of weapon? That's so crazy. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm just gonna have to look it up. That's just what I'm gonna have to do. Look it up, figure out what the answer is, see if I can come back with it. I think the third, like, I, if there's, some of these, I mean, they, they take a while. I don't think we can finish it right now. If my instincts are correct, I don't think we can. So now let's try to go south. I've actually also just realized that I don't think we can, but that's okay. Oh, not where I want to get to. Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> that man is in danger. We must go to his aid. You want to carry those claws home in a bag? <laughs> well, don't say I didn't warn you. He just killed him with fans. Silvando, darling, you were fabulous! So fierce! Fierce doesn't even begin to describe it. You were ferocious! <laughs> Can it be? Can it truly, truly be? Truly? Truly, truly? It is. I think it really is. Darling, it's so wonderful to see you. Oh, I thought you were lost to me forever. Um, you two are acquainted? And, uh, what, what is it that you do, exactly? Oh, come now. Isn't it obvious? We're fighting an epic battle to bring back something the world has lost! <laughs> it's Smile! That's right, darlings. We're on a quest to bring sunshine and laughter back to every corner of this drab, drab world. My little parade has picked up quite a cavalcade of warriors for wondrousness. Aren't they just so much fun? But never mind that now. I can't believe you're alive. It's a miracle. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry I forgot all about you. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? No. No, I am not. Thanks to you. You are more... strong than you appear. My name is Da. I come from Phnom in the south. And if it were not for your help, I would not be returning there. Thank you. Oh, you're heading home. Then we better go with you. Can't have you getting attacked again now, can we, hmm? Listen, darling, you and me have got a lot to talk about. So what do you say you join the parade for a little while, huh? Come on. You know you want to. Nope. Uh, oh, did he really just... So cold. But you don't need to be shy, darling. I know you're just itching to join me and the boys, really. Okay. Time for you to take your first steps as a soldier of the smile-spreading special forces. Here, put these on. All right. Yeah. No, oh, you look even more adorable than I thought you would. So proud. All right, boys. Let's make our newest recruit feel right at home. He's an old friend of mine, after all. Yeah. <laughs> Lead on, darling! And don't let me cut you frowning. You're at the head of the world's premier gladness-bringing parade! All right, let's get out there and make the world smile! And... Shimmy! <laughs> okay, hi, <laughs> Hendrik. Yeah. They should have put Hendrik in this outfit. All right, let's get moving. Phenomenon, here we come. Oh, and if we ever, if we get separated for some reason, we'll be back here. Okay, honey. 
Okay, awarded for standing at the head of Savando's smile restoring parade and so he got to bring joy back to the world. Okay! So yeah! So this makes our sprite do this! <laughs> like! And I don't know if we can actually get separated. But they are not the quickest, they are not the quickest parade in the world. Yeah, It's probably worth it to see if we can just run to the town. If we get separated, in case you run off the map somewhere, right? Destination, the beautiful, bustling tourist town of Nomnon. Oh, not here, too. Uh, the whole world is just so dreary these days. Um, thank you for saving me. I... I must go now. I wonder what can have made him venture so far from home in the first place. Might it have something to do with why the town is so quiet? Hmm, sounds like a job for Sylph's detective agency. Leave this to me. Agents of happiness, soldiers of smile, Go spread some special parade cheer and find out what's going on around here. <laughs> Let's go to work. <laughs> Why can I not shake the feeling that Silvando and I have met somewhere before? Okay, yeah. And our sprite will continue to do this until we take this outfit off. Which, in my first playthrough, it took me forever to realize. So I ran around like this a lot. It's the Marty Garb. And the Marty Garb uh, boosts your charm quite a bit. If we go back to something that's a little more... Oh, this legitimately has the best defense of anything we have. Well then. <laughs> I guess we're gonna look like this for a bit. Oh, but we can't run in this. There we go. People of this village are very scared. Asutada. See, something dark and complex has happened here. Hmm, Silva, I think he, was, he has escorted Senor Da back to his home somewhere in the village. Okay. The monster took them, my wife and son. It is unforgivable. 
All right, so there's a monster here. And of course there is. Of course there's going to be a boss. The owner of the sh item shop's been kidnapped, and now her daughter has to look all, the, all of... After the place, all of her own poor lamb. We've got to help her. <laughs> I, like, I love this guy's sprite. He has a... He has a monocle. I want a monocle. I'm blind to one. I, I deserve a monocle. All my stock was stolen. Now I have nothing to sell. I cannot be a merchant without any merchandise. I think so. I also like it when people say that. When people say their opinion, they go, I think so. Like, I, I like it as a an English construct. So this monster is specifically talk, taking people's most treasured possessions, apparently. That's just spiteful. What's her game, I wonder? Yeah, that awesome, awful monster very near clean, cleaned me out, but I still have one little treasure left. Hey, ignore me, please! Uh, nothing of value remains. The monster took everything. Everything! Alright. Hey, did I get these... these things the first time I was here? I did not. 62 gold coins I could have had my first travel through this town. And I did not. This poor man was deceived by the monster and his beloved wife was kidnapped. Now he sees nothing but deception wherever he turns. Truly, this avarith is a despicable creature to sow such fear and mistrust in the hearts of innocents. You are a servant of avarice. I think so. You will not deceive me with your devious ways. All I ask is that you return my wife to me, please. My life is worthless without her. I don't suppose you know anything about food, do you? I'm a chef, you see. Right now I'm traveling around trying to learn more about the various cuisines of the world. I came to Fidemna and pick up some rainbow rock salt. I hear it's their most popular, delicious souvenir. When I got here, the locals told me that monsters had taken over the place they get it from. Everyone's too scared to go down there. Hey, you look like you'd handle yourself. I don't suppose you could go and get me some, could you? I only need a pinch of the stuff. Uh, yeah. You will. Oh, that's great. Apparently, they get it from a place called the Grotta de la Fonte over in Laguna de Gangdolia. Some kind of cave, by the sounds of it. The rock salt's somewhere near the middle. I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding it. I'll be waiting for you here. Good luck down there, and make sure you come back in one piece of it. All right, well, we haven't gotten to that area yet, so. If you're looking for Sylvie, he's taking that, taking that da fellow back to his house. Got this feeling there was something he wanted to get off his chest, you know? Yep, dog. Da, you are okay. You are not hurt. Oh, what a relief. I was fearing the worst for you, especially after little son has gone missing, you know. Your boy is missing. Oh, honey. Ugh. Where that selfish child chooses to go is none of my concern. You must forgive him. His wife died recently, you know, and now his son has gone missing. It is very hard for him. Do you know of the monster Avarith? She appeared in the village with her foul friends soon after Yggdrasil fell and the darkness came. We were paralyzed with fear and could not run away. Then she gathered us all in the square. Give me your valuables, she said. Tell me what is most precious to you. I will protect it. People were so scared, they obeyed her without thinking. They gave her money, husbands, wives, even children. But the wicked creature lied to us. She did not protect the things we gave to her. No, she took them and ran away. Oh, that's just awful. Oh, if there's one thing I hate, it's dirty, rotten liars. Don't worry, honey. We're gonna get all your stuff back. All of it. Really? But Avarith is very strong, very powerful. Oh, it'll take more than a common thief to stop me. I won't let you down. You know what they say, a knight's word is his bond. A knight? Hmm. Avarith went south with everything she stole. She has a lair there, I think. Then let's get after her! We've got an evildoer to punish! 
All right, and surprisingly, that's it. That's the information. Like, those are the things we needed to know. Now we can go, like, do this thing. And we're gonna go save our game. And then we are gonna go do this thing. Go south, find Avarith. Clearly has a name very close to Avarice. Okay, we're 45 there. It looks like 40 is the... Alright. So, when we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.